um, Mortal Republic by Edward J. Watts, How Rome Fell Into Tyranny, and while I was going, like, updating this for um, Neck Alley, pretty sure this is, like, another edition of a previous book that I did a review on, so maybe repeating myself or co contradicting myself, but I know, but one thing I know, not a book for me because I'm not that huge into classics, but once in a while, it's interesting to um, read something that you nor normally won't read um, about. So you got like maps on, at the start, terms, people, and dates are introduced. So you aren't totally confused of, wait, what? Um, so you got things like politics, w war and its effect, wealth, class division, um, the introduction of secret ballots, because like voting was more, was like out in the open, people knew who voted for who, but you got the more secret ballot type of thing. Um, how men got into power and what they'd done. Um, you got a portion on Caesar. Um, and with this, there's no like type of conclusion. Um, like there's a good timeline and explanation of a few of the rulers in here. Um, So, um, this book explains why Rome, still one of the longest lived republics in world history, traded the liberty of political autonomy for the secure security of autocracy. Um, it is written at the moment when modern readers need to be particularly aware of both the nature of republics and consequences of their failure. Um, this book begins in the tw uh, 280s BC, not long after the written record of Roman history becomes more factual than fanciful. Um, um, Appius Claudi Claudius um, First Punic War, you do get um, a few images of artifacts um, placed. Um, car, um, them at odds with car at odds with Carthage. Pompeii, Caesar, but yeah, you got um, a decent selection of information in this, so if you are interested in kind of like the, almost like the fall of Rome and this, um, of Rome from 280 on um, time period, something to look into, and the conflicts that arose and the effects that it had on Rome itself and the empire. So, yeah, Mortal Republic. Happy readings.